London City is my favorite London airport. But if I can't have that, Gatwick is my next choice. Because if you can't fly from the heart of the city, at least you can start your journey there. So today we'll be going from Gatwick to Faro and back. Right, so I like Gatwick because if you can't fly from the heart of the city, at least you can start your journey there. It is a very flashy train. It flashes which car you're in and where is the toilet and... No, I don't get to go on trains much. Anyway, we're here. Gatwick, North Terminal, British Airways check-in. Today, we're flying economy with a twist. This being, it's our last day for the foreseeable future of British Airways Gold. So, the economy check-in has no queue, but as a matter of principle, we're using this one. On the very same principle, we're also going to the lounge. The gold lounge. Which, even though the decor is funky, has less facilities than the general business lounge next door, which we visited in July. Link in the description. This, in addition to the thrones, is one room with chairs and one room with an abbreviated selection of food and some grumpy people not keen on being filmed. You can order other items to your table. It is more quiet, more private, but we won't be exactly heartbroken to be losing access to this. And now it's time to get back to reality. This being, we're boarding, it is a very busy flight and we're in the back of beyond of this nine years old Airbus 320 in these here seats. This is the legroom depending on the size of the passenger. There are decent sized luggage bins but as people are allowed on with insane amounts of carry-on, silly people like us who follow the rules are being punished by having to sit on their smaller bags. There is in-flight Wi-Fi, but you have to pay for it, and also individual power points in each seat. This is the size of the table. Bring your own entertainment and it sits comfortably high enough over your lap. So, it's time to start flapping your arms hard because we're going! The service starts very soon after takeoff, but our tickets do not include much. This will then be followed by our free bird captain service, pre purchase items to be served first, by on board purchases. So the only thing left is the Gremlin Lou review from an even tinier toilet. I mean, look at this. No room to swing a cap or anything else. You don't get much water either. Well, I guess at least it's clean and it smells pretty nice. Tissues, towels, bin, 
And this, this is the back of the cabin crew seat for landing and takeoff. Oh yeah, and that coat hook. That's actually quite useful if you have a bag. Gremlin rating, all right. And so, in no time at all, we're in Faro. Uh, well, apologies for the slight delay on the service. Hope you have managed to enjoy the flight with us. It's been a pleasure to have you on board. On behalf of the captain, myself and the entire crew, thanks for choosing Flybridge Airways. Wish you very safe on my journey and a very happy new year. Cabin crew, thank you. Doors to manual and cropping. What you see here is the immigration at Faro Airport with three full planes from London just arrived. The e-gates are closed for some reason and only two officers are there. It is after general business hours. So we're lucky to have EU passports. Long story short, we got our bags and a route and they're still nowhere near entering the country. You haven't really thought that one through Brits, have you? And this is a rental car, so stay with us for a video on Playa da Roca, but for now, let's see how it goes on the way back. This is Faro Airport. They extended a bit since we last came here in 2019. There is nobody at check-in. Are this flight busy? No, it's very quiet. Very quiet. Very Let's see if we can lose your security. And the security is almost empty too. Up ahead they were taking phones of people for filming, so I decided not to. Last time we passed through, this was all under construction. Looks like a decent terminal now. But we shan't try it out because if our status expired, the current is still in date, which gets us into the lounge. They only have sandwiches, snacks and the Portuguese custard turrets. But hey, they're giving it, we'll take it, cause that's the sort of traveler we are. And you don't want to eat too much, because there are some ups, downs and arounds before you get to the gate. This time we're flying an Airbus 319, but the seats are the same. And once again, people carry on their kitchen sinks and clothes to last them a decade. So we have to cozy up to our bags and stuff. because this is sticking in and if you're in 22B your pocket's broken The seaside humidity combined with the darkness outside and the lights inside means this time you're not getting the usual taxi and takeoff roll you're heard broken, I know as consolation and because nobody's driving at the other end end of a holiday drink and it's time for the gremlin Lou review a319 the plane is smaller but the toilet is bigger oh, I'm sure they'll take care of it in the next retrofit everything's here and wigs, maybe not sparkling, but clean enough and smells nice. Not sure why they still put these. The nice crew signs off on Gremlin's logbook, and as time flies when you're having fun. Scatwick, latest weather there is uh, quite pleasant, really light winds, clear skies, temperature of 6 degrees Celsius. 
stretch on the ground at approximately uh, half past ten. Um, that is subject to air traffic control. It might be there's a bit of traffic coming in at this time of night. But if there's any major change in arrival time, all the weather will keep you updated. In the meantime, please relax and enjoy the flight. Thank you. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened until the part of the seatbelt signs have been switched off. Bridge Airways, one of our 111 lines, partner flights from Gatwick. You're welcome to check the collection at your final destination. For all other connecting flights, please proceed through immigration and collect baggage before making your way to check in. The immigration is empty again. Fun fact, the sign seems clear, but this way everything's locked. So just go where everybody's going. And we don't wait for the bugs either. So overall a good experience, not much of a delay either way. Fast processing at the airports both ends of the trip. And hey, I'm getting a deja vu here from July. Well, it's here, it's convenient, and if all you're gonna do the next day is flying, then... Gremlin on the road. Can you see it? There, yeah. Airways. Well, there is a check in place yeah, somewhere. Right? Queuing. So, my bag got a check, and somebody's great idea was to tag the Twix. And the lady said, Yeah, somebody tagged the Twix. <laughs> 